Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode on the Omni Factory. And I don't know why I said it like that, but I did. And I have been a little busy. I did a, quite a bit of mining to the point where I filled up this and I actually have 510 uh, stone and what's being cooked up right now. So I've been pretty busy. I also made a small farm over here. Just, just a little one of trees and everything. So I can just basically walk by and whenever I'm ready or need some, just cut some down. The only bad thing is those things break super fast. And I would love to get the diamond one, but finding diamonds is not as easy as it normally is. And why did you break weird? But yeah, so I've been really, really busy trying to get things set up and prepped. And it's been a little bit of a task. But it works. I mean, look how much wood we've already gotten. And I'm still cutting these things down as they grow. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into what we're going to be doing today. Because I have a lot of things planned. Another thing I did do between episodes is I actually cleared out the last two rooms down here. And yeah, they're not much. But uh, we're going to need a lot more in the future. So we're going to have to keep that in mind. And that area is still kind of uh, dangerous. But yeah, I've been collecting a lot of wood, a lot of saplings. You can see right here. And yeah, just trying to get things around. But here's the one thing I was wanting to get done. Oh, and organize this and made the rest of these. But like I said, been busy. Now, in the quest book, there is one quest that is kind of holding us back. And that is in Genesis, and that is more materials. All we're going to need is some copper and some redstone. Well, I've gotten a little bit of copper. You can see I also found two diamonds on accident. I have a lot of rubber, which can become very useful today. But this uh, tetrahydrate ore, if we look at it, it can actually be smelted into copper. And I'm going to go ahead and smelt this and that random one because, yeah, it's uh, just kind of sitting there. Uh, that one's already being used. Go ahead and get this going so we can get that. And our redstone. Our redstone is actually just a regular let's see, redstone ore right here. Uh, let's see if we can get about half a stack because we're going to need it. The great thing about this is whenever you smelt it, it actually turns into six. So it's not bad. Let's go ahead and get this started. And we'll come back in just a moment. Actually, let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to do. We're going to get this one done. Um, I would like to get these uh, rubber sheet quests done real quick. It's not that hard. Matter of fact, we can just knock it out. Actually, I know I'm going to need a lot of this, so let's get 16 of these. And I don't see any reason to teach this in the crafting table. But there we go. Got two plant balls. And next thing we need is a slime ball and some rubber sheets. So all that's working. Let me get these uh, last few things done up, and we'll be back in a second. I do also have a ton of tiny charcoal. I prefer using that than anything else, just because it uses one for one. All right, got the slime balls. We should have enough redstone and copper. Complete that quest as well. Look at that. We got the rubber soft hammer thing. Um, it's another Omni Nickel there. And it's kind of funny because they wanted the rubber sheets, but they didn't want the soft rubber hammer beforehand. Oh, now I get it. Uh, we got the more material quest done. Quite a few things we can get done real quick. I did go get enough stuff for a bed, as you can tell right here. So we can actually sleep through the night. And we're also going to make a satchel real quick. I can just get one of those. And I can't remember what was all involved in the satchel. Uh, and ten. We do have some tin. There we go. We got a little satchel. Great thing about this, you can upgrade it later. And actually, it's not too hard to upgrade this. You just have to start getting into alloys. But it is a nice little backpack to have. And it makes it where we don't have to uh, carry so much stuff. So we got this melted down. All right. So, the next thing it is, wanting, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get into, oh, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Copper dust, 
red alloy dust, red alloy, iron dust, conductive iron. It is wanting a lot of stuff here. So how hard is this stuff? Uh, mortar, not bad. So most of this is going to be a mortar recipe. Copper, redstone, okay. Iron dust, conductive metal, okay. So it's wanting quite a few of these. So let's see. I guess we can take about half a stack of iron and pretty close to half a stack of copper. All right, two things to bring up real quick. Go ahead and upgrade these. I think I have enough uh, copper on me. I think it's copper is the next one, isn't it? Yeah. And here is your crafting recipe for a bucket. I thought that was a little interesting, but these should be a little bit faster. I always make sure you take out the fuel beforehand. And there we go. There's two of them. Another quest completed. And let's see what the difference is. Uh, not much. That was weird. But yeah, there's not much of a difference in the way it looks, but maybe in the way it acts. We'll have to wait and see. But I got all the material for this one now we just need to make the plates and the alloy wires which i'm gonna show you guys how to do that real quick and we're gonna do that in this one so we're gonna need the hammer which we have on us and i believe we're gonna need the cutting cutters so to make any plate in here you have to have the two ingots and then you're gonna have to have the hammer and i think they wanted seven of these i believe yeah, seven red alloy. But always make sure you take them out. And we're going to go ahead and lock that because we're going to need that for in a little bit. And conductive, same thing. I believe they are actually wanting all 32. So, here we go. And now to make the wires, it's actually pretty straightforward. And you can pretty much look in the recipe book, but it's not that hard. So you just clear this out. And I'm just showing you guys real quick how to use these, just in case you've never used it before. You know, we got the 16 of those. And now those. So that's actually pretty easy. I think that's actually all of it done. Yes, it is. Now, the conductive alloy is can be used to make conductive cables and quite a few things. I think this is what they're wanting us to make. So, claim that. Ooh, Omni Quarter right there. All right, so it's wanting us to make red alloy cables, seven of them, and conductive cables. So, I did go out and actually get quite a bit of sand and quite a little bit of gravel. Let's grab just enough to make a little bit of conductive alloy. And I do have a lot of clay over here. I believe that's all we need to do with these. Yeah. So it makes quite a bit of time. So we can go ahead and just go like that. And that's going to make uh, half a stack. That's not bad. And let's see how fast these are real quick. And then we're going to cut away for a second. Uh, yeah, quite a bit faster. Okay, I'm enjoying that. Uh, let's see. So let's get that done up. Well, we're going to get that done up in a minute. Cables is pretty easy. One rubber sheet for one rubber alloy, and they want seven of them. So that's why we had that. There we go. This is just getting us all ready for the uh, big stuff. So uh, one thing I would love to get is this scanner module for the blocks, which does not look too hard. We've got plenty of rubber. we got plenty of wood. In fact, I got so much of this, I can just flat out use this with my heart's content. All right, it looks like we got everything we need to actually make this. And there we go, scanner module. Now, what this can do, if you right-click in here, you can actually see where it has all these modifiers already in it. But we can actually change this out for, uh, say, that one. And put this in inactive. And if we want to, actually, let's take these out and put those together. And the way it works... Say we get a piece of copper ore, and this is what I will be doing upstairs. So let's go ahead and... Uh, not upstairs. Downstairs. There we go. 
Now, I don't know if those pieces are actually going to be used for a lot of other things. Uh, yes, they are. So we're going to probably want to make a lot of these in the beginning. You know, at times I'm an idiot. You go like that. You sneak right click with the uh, module and now we should be able to see any copper ore that is nearby, which is down there. So that's a little bit of waste, but that is a good way of getting it. Go ahead and come back up here. So now we can just go ahead and put all these back in. I can't believe I stirred that up so badly. Now, one other thing I did do is I did light up quite a bit of this area just so mobs wouldn't spawn and uh, try to attack me every time I went outside. But the next thing I want to get is the uh, infinite water source, and there's a reason why. Now, the main reason is to actually get a form of power going, but let's go ahead and get our conductive wires done. And I believe it's just like this and some of this, and this will give us uh, some basic power. All right, so that's basic energy out of the way, and that's gonna help us tra transfer RF, which will be useful. And the reason we're making two different cables is because this one will transfer just Greg Tech energy, and the other one will be RF. So that is gonna be the basic principle of that. And I'm trying to do my best to get out of this age and pressurize conduits. Just need some glass, so not that big of a deal. Got our wrought iron. Let's go ahead and kind of smelt up some of this uh, sand so we can get some glass and we can get a few more things done. I'm, I'm just trying to see how much of this pack we can get through real quick. And it shouldn't take us too long to actually get to an age of automation, which is the biggest key of this pack. Automation is key for everything. And there's a lot of twists and turns along the way. I mean... Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Okay, infinite water source. And this is going to be help us with our power generation. And I will explain that in a minute. Now, the way this works, it infinitely produces one millibuck of water constantly per tick, pretty much. So that's 20 millibuckets per second and so forth and so forth. And that's going to actually help us with getting a little bit more on the... Uh, power line because I think I'm going to start with a boiler that seems like it'd be the easiest thing to go in and we're gonna need some fluid conduits so there we go well I made plenty of those and I would love to upgrade these to the higher version but that's going to take I think a little bit of work yeah we have to get to vibrant alloy and yeah that's that's a little bit uh out of our range because yeah it's one vibrant alloy ingot which can't be melt made that way fluid centrifuge fiber alloy blast furnace yeah so we got a bit of ways to go for that one so not that big of a deal but it's going to be a minute so we got most of these things done already now we're actually just blowing through these quests here now vacuum tubes paper and copper wires no big deal resistors more copper wires and paper so I have found a little bit of sugarcane. Not a lot. And let's keep that one just for the time being. I think that's, yeah, it still has a vanilla recipe for it. So we're going to have to make some copper wires, which I guess we can do it over here. Put our hammer back in. And I'm going to come back in a minute after I get all this done up. All right, there we go. Electronics subcomponents. Not encouraging because this is taking a lot longer than I thought I was going to. But I actually had to start on this one right here. And I might have to end up making more of these. Wow, look at that. Got a lot of stuff for that one. So this is actually where we need to get to to actually start getting into age one. And this is uh, the beginning. So once we get this section right here, Genesis done... And we shouldn't need much more. Um, I think we actually have everything. We're going to get a wrought iron plate. Which uh, I don't have any more, do I? I can make one really quick. And I think this is the one with the wrought iron plate. It is. So let me get my hammer. And we're going to finish this up. Shouldn't take too long. This is why I am glad I have the recipes kind of stored in there. And I think we got everything. Red alloy cable. Yep, got that. And we already got plenty of these uh, coated circuit boards. 
So this, I believe this is called the primitive circuit. And yeah, that's all it is. So we can get all this stuff back in there and we should be good. Um, if I don't forget anything, here we go. That's our first primitive circuit. Now I'm just showing you guys basically how to craft up all this stuff really quick. All right, everybody, that was a pain in the backside to craft. And I cannot wait for auto crafting. That's all I'm saying. All right, now we got that one. Now the uh, CEF LV, which is a uh, see what it says on here. Till now, you've been generating RF power with your steam dynamos, but Greg Tech machines require EU. With your first circuit in hand, you are ready to build a low voltage LV CEF. The CEF is a special device that converts RF power into EU power. CEFs come in four sizes, four, 16 amps, which have four and 16 inventory slots, respectively. Each slot in a CFS can hold a single battery. You don't need to put Greg Tech batteries inside the CF, but yada, 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 yada. Okay, so it's a four to one ratio. So we're going to look for the CEF, the LV version. All right, and this is the four slot, and this is the 16th slot. Let's see if we can make the uh, 16th slot one. It's going to be a lot of conductive iron, but I think that's going to be better because it's more... Uh, like this at four, it can only power four machines at a time. 16, though, can do 16 at a time. So we're going to need a bit of uh, stuff. So we're going to need that. Does not look too hard. It's going to be a lot of wrought iron. So that's going to be a lot of iron just to make in general. So let me come back in a minute when I get all that stuff ready. And yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I'm trying to think of how much we're going to need. So... That makes one, that makes two, so that's four right there. Ooh, it's gonna be a minute. So, a lot of conductive iron. So, conductive iron was pretty easy to make in the first place. And that was just redstone and iron. Yeah. So I might have to smelt up the rest of my iron and my rest of my uh, sandstone. Is not horrible, but I would rather not have had to do this. But hey, eh, it all comes out in the same in the end. I might have to do a little bit of more ore mining. A little bit, because that is going to be a lot of my iron gone. Alright everybody, there it is. We got it done. The CEF LV. And I went ahead and programmed it all in here. It was actually pretty simple. It was just a lot of crafting that you saw before. Uh, the only thing different was this, which is just wrought iron plates and a all the way around with a wrought iron wrench. So there we go. Now we actually have a way for to produce power. And that was a little bit of a lag spike. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what... Ooh, that is the wrong booklet. Uh, Tilde key. Okay. And yeah, that was pretty much that one right there. What else do we need? Four conductive iron. All right, everybody. We are done with that. It was pretty easy. It's a lot of the same recipes over and over again the only thing different was the lv machine casing which is just basically wrought iron plates like that and there we go we have the uh whole thing done now the only thing else it is wanting is four times conductive iron if i remember right yes it is and i believe we have four times conductive iron right there and all we need is a little bit of rubber i believe it's rubber sheets if i remember correctly i'm probably wrong i am of course i am it is not like that. Okay, so we actually have to break these back down. I think to like this, and is it like this? Yeah. So I'm going to have to get some more of these rubber sheets done up, which was a really simple recipe. Just, uh, yeah, we got tons of that. No big deal. And we're going to need, how many pieces do we have? Do, do, do YouTuber blindness 16. Go. But yeah, it's a, just a pretty simple craft. And it's great that you can break those down and reuse them. Eight, four times conductive sheets. Perfect. 
Now I would like to take this a little bit further and make this 16 because that is what our CEF is. But for right now, this will work perfectly fine. And I'm thinking back here, going to be kind of the uh, main area for power gen. And I do not have my X on me. Oh, yeah, I do. It's right here. But yeah, we're going to run these under the ground. And this should work perfectly fine. Should. Keyword. Now, the only thing I'm going to have to do is get the water, infinite water supply right there. The CEF right here. And I believe it can work like this. I'm not quite for sure. And all that I'm going to need is my wrench. All right, everybody. I decided to also make the Yeta wrench, which I think that's actually part of a quest line. If we go back, let's get the Omni Nickels from that. And it's... Oh, we didn't even grab this one either. Um, Where was it at? I saw it. Here it is. And we, yeah, we have all this completed. So that is perfect. Now we have all the wrenches we could possibly need. And let's go ahead and set up the power in this. Um, we do not have the LV batteries yet. Which is tin and red alloy cables. And yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I would love to get to the assembly line. But that's going to take a little bit. Because the basic one... It, really? Was that the basic assembly? Oh gosh. Got the arms and all this other stuff. So there we go. We got the wrenches galore quest done. Now let's see if we can turn this to where it is facing into this. And I believe if I put a little bit of a coal in here. Let's uh, grab a little bit of this right here. And this is not going to be our main source of power. But you can see this is getting RF pretty quickly. And all we need is some batteries in here. So let me craft up some batteries, which it shouldn't be too hard. Because I do have the... I do not have any red alloy wire in here, but I have some right here. So maybe one battery right now, and I don't know. Maybe in the next episode we'll come back, and I wonder, can I, I can turn you. All right, there we go. So it does not look like it's losing power. I don't know if I could sneak down here, and there we go. That should be good on that, and we should be able to run our four times conductive wire through here. And we have that set up, and that's our basic power gen. But I think I'm going to get some more resources off camera, and this, and we're going to, in the NEPS Expo, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> All right, it looks like we got the basics of our power gen set up, which is Pretty cool. We got a little bit of power. Second episode, I think we're doing good. I think in the next couple of episodes, we are going to work on power gen and automating a few things. Uh, Primus power, yada, yada, yada. This is going to give basically an information on never heard of a CF it with, it has fewer amps than your CF, yada, yada, yada. Basic information. I'll pause, let you see this for a moment. So if you want to read it, go ahead and read it and pause the screen. But yeah, we're going to work into putting all this together, and I think actually that is it. Wait a second, we could actually jump into the first uh, thing. Uh, now you'll need some Greg Tech machines to hook up the cables so you can make whatever you want, but we recommend this do the first. The wire mill and the compressor. So that is two things we are going to be working on in the next episode, and I believe that actually opened up, uh, yeah, the beginning of uh greg tech so that's cool we got the wire mill and everything else open so it goes wire mill and i believe it kind of stretches off over here see there's the lv compressor so we're going to work on this in the next episode which is, should be pretty cool and get all that up and going so we don't have to uh basically do this recipe anymore because if you look at the recipe for this it is one silver ingot which is two plates right there or two ingots to make one plate and wire cutters. But in the wire mill, it's one to two. So it's going to be a lot cheaper for us to do that first and then kind of semi automate it right off the bat. So in the next episode, we'll work on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, enjoy this content and you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget, take it easy, everybody. You guys are. Oh, forgot that is not a key. Uh, you guys are awesome, and I will see you in the next episode. So, take it easy.